If you're struggling to work from home, you're probably feeling like you're drinking out of a fire hose with the constant barrage of notifications, email, Slack notifications, just constantly pinging your computer and phone all day, boom, 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 constantly asking you for work, but you not having the time or attention to get a single task done. And so you're constantly in this firefighting mode and always working on shallow work, but never able to get actual deep work done. And so today I want to introduce you to a concept called time blocking and how it's transformed the way that I work. For a little background, my name is Jonathan Acuna. By trade, I'm a senior Salesforce administrator or app builder. And so that means by day I work with a startup and in that startup, there are many different departments. And so most of my job is building or customizing or maintaining different apps for different departments. I could have up to eight simultaneous projects at the same time. And so while each project has a different scope of work and also has a different roadmap, then how am I able to move mountains of work effortlessly and not remember any of the details, but able to project a deadline months in the future for all those projects and deliver them on time and under budget. And the principle is called time blocking. But what's time blocking, you may ask. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so time blocking is a time management method that asks you to divide your day into blocks of time. Each block is dedicated to accomplishing a specific task or group of tasks or even those specific tasks that you're working on. Instead of keeping an open-ended, never-ending or never-closing to-do list, You'll start each day with a concrete list and schedule of what you'll be working on and when. Now, I want to share with you four benefits of, or three benefits of time blocking, and then we'll go into show, uh, show and tell. <laughs> so benefit number one is it's going to help you establish flow. And we all hear that keyword flow. What is flow? Flow is your fluid work state when you're focused and working at maximum focus and efficiency. Time blocking helps you achieve flow state by allowing you to dedicate parts of your day to very specific types of work and nothing else. So benefit number two is it's going to minimize distractions. Because time blocking is the opposite of multitasking, it allows for concentration on a single task, allowing you to get deep work. This means you have more mental bandwidth to devote to what you're working on, which is good news, as a lack of distraction can boost attention to detail and produce fewer errors or fewer we work, especially if you do lean principles. <laughs> and benefit number three is that it creates a sense of control over your work. When we feel more control over what we're doing and when, it helps to reduce the stress and anxiety. In the short term, time blocking allows you to gain more control over the day rather than just winging it. In the long term, it allows for more effective planning and decision making. And so now I'm really more interested in like the show and tell, some demo. So right now I'm going to show you how you can get started right now time blocking using my three pro tips because I want you to be successful with it. And I'm going to show you how to do it using ClickUp. And so let's dive in first into my brain. Bam, there we are. Nice. We're in ClickUp. Welcome. And so I set this demo up to set this workspace as a very powerful task and project manager that's going to allow you to time block effortlessly. And so our first pro tip number one is that you must use one app. Okay, you really got to just, uh, you have to use one app to con for all your tasks. They have to be in one place. If the, they can't be in your head, they can't, half of them can't be in the notes, heck, some of them can't be in the reminders. You can't have any in your email. None of them can be on your calendar. Pull all of them together and put them in one app. I know you're all like, oh, but I want to put them in a journal and I want to use them in this one other app called da 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 da. No, sorry. If it hasn't been working for you right now as 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 the single place for you to put all your tasks, then it's not going to work for you in the future. So work with me to use ClickUp as your one central app to put all your tasks in. So let's dive in. And with that, I'm going to just brain dump. I'm going to do task number one. And then I'm going to just do task number two. I'm just going to repeat this. And then you could zoom in to see. 
not doing anything fancy, but oh, I'm interesting. It's interesting. I'm putting it under what's that you say? Oh, that's called backlog. Backlog are the different stages. Um, when you talk about Kanban, but I want to finish this out. Hold on. I want to add five tasks. Task number three, task number four, and task number five. Perfect. So I have five tasks. Just brain dump. Those are the five tasks I can think of today. I'll come up with some more tomorrow, but for right now, that's good enough. So, but you'll notice they're all saved under a status called backlog. Not in progress, not to do, <laughs> backlog. What is backlog? Backlog is the never ending list of tasks of the things that you have to do sorted by priority. So this is the one master list of every task, but you can't do every task. You only have so much time. And so that's where I'm going to introduce you to pro tip number two, after you brain dump and pro tip number two and number three are actually two habits that you need to start doing. So habit number one is you're going to do your weekly review. And so your weekly review, the rule is every Sunday or first of the week, you're going to sit down and you're going to look at your backlog and you're going to say, hmm, and this is where people love the Kanban board in Trello. Oh, look at this. I got my backlog with all my tasks. Look at that. Nice. I got tasks. Oh, but there's other ones. There's tasks for this week. And then I have hold. And then I have in progress. And there, finally, I have completed. Oh, so these are the stages of work or the true like in progress to do like all work moves through these stages. And so honestly, with pro tip number two, this is going to help you reduce the scope or the amount of work that you're going to complete in one week. That's all. That's all what the first habit is does on your first habit is your weekly review. Every Sunday, you're going to say, Hey, this week I've sorted this, my backlog, it's sorted by priority. So I know the first thing is the most urgent thing that I have to get done. So I'm like, boom, I'm going to commit to doing task number one, task number two, and task number three for this week. I'm, I can't do four and five. Realistically, that would lead to too much stress and anxiety because there's not enough hours to do. You have to be realistic with your time. And so I'm going to commit to doing these three tasks for this week. So then now rolls into my pro tip number three, which is the second habit. And that is your daily review. And so your daily review at the end of the day, the goal of it is to go and gather all the tasks, any new tasks and unfinished tasks that you're working on. And you're going to look, and this is why I love the calendar. So we can see here calendar. Oh, nothing has a due date. So we're going to look over here. There's our tasks. So for task one, I'm going to commit to doing today. Task number two, I'm going to commit to do number. Oh, well, we'll do one and two today and then we'll do number three tomorrow. That sounds pretty good. And then we'll leave four and five for next week. But this is all I want to focus on for this week or at least the rest of the week. So that's we'll just move this out of the way. But now I have my tasks. So now I'm going to move to habit number two, which is the daily planning. So if I know that I'm going to do task one and task two, there they are at the very top, but I need to get them done sometime today. See how easy it is when you've done the work ahead. You're like, Hmm, I only have to do these tasks today. Just these two. Oh, thank you. Past John. You're so nice. Thank you for looking out, not giving me a barrage of 40 tasks I have to do today. That was nice of you for time blocking. And so today it's pretty late, as you can see, I'm going to commit task number two, and I'm going to commit to task number three, or I'm going to put one before two. Look how fun and easy it is for time blocking. Then I know task number one is not going to take that long. So task number one is only going to take 30 minutes. So I'll put 30 minutes on the clock right there, squish it, and I'll start that at nine. And then I'll do task number two. Task number two is a little bit longer. So that's going to take about over 45 minutes or mm, let's see if this is an hour. Cool. Then we want this just to be a little bit longer. So about 45 minutes. Yeah. So 45 minutes. So what you're doing is you're committing time in the future that you're going to say, I'm going to do that work at that time. Nothing else. No other distractions. That 
is incredibly powerful. So we just took ideas from all their brains, all the two tasks that we have to do. We threw them in uh, ClickUp. We organized them by priority, what we're going to do this week. And then we threw in schedules for what we're going to do today, tomorrow. And then we time blocked for the today of what we're going to do. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, actually after this, what I'm going to do is task number one and two. And then I'll time block for tomorrow what I'm going to do and schedule. So that is how you time block. So here are your next three steps. If you found this helpful, there's a link below where you could download my free productivity guide that will save you one day every week. Come on, if these tips like this, like trust, there's so much more in there. Number two, step two, is you're going to sign up for a free ClickUp account. Everything you just saw me do, do right now, you could do with their free ClickUp account. And plus, it syncs with your Google Calendar. Oh, I love it. And step three, you're going to brain dump all your tasks. You're going to time block just like I did. And tomorrow, you're going to just budget one thing to do tomorrow. So it's just scheduled. So when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to see that one task and feel the joy of having it already scheduled and blocked. And then when that time comes, you're going to sit down and do nothing but that task and just execute and get it done. And then you get that satisfaction of moving it from, from always in your head to someday to finally complete it. And I love that. That's time blocking. Time blocking reduces stress and anxiety. So I'm Jonathan Acuna. I believe in you. And I know you can do this. So I create these videos so you can learn one powerful idea a day so you can change your life. Don't miss out on the guide below and on the next video. Stay blessed.